All may please rise for national anthem and university anthem thereafter. His Excellency, the Honorable Chancellor of Kerala University of Health Sciences and the Governor of Kerala, Sri Arif Muhammad Ganji, my esteemed colleagues in the University, the Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. C.P. Vijayan, the Registrar Dr. Manoj Kumar, the Controller of Examinations Dr. Anil Kumar, Dean of Research Dr. Shaji K.S., Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Iqbal, Dean Academics, Dr. Binoj, Finance Officer, Sri Rajesh K.P., Faculty Deans of the University, Members of the Senate, the Governing Council, the Academic Council, the Board of Studies, esteemed principals and faculty of the affiliated colleges, officers and other staff members of ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely happy and proud to stand before you for the 16th convocation of Kerala University of Health Sciences. This convocation is a landmark in the academic history of the university. Today, we are conferring degrees on 16,298 students, the largest ever. And, and with this number, the health professionals who have come out successfully from this university will be 1,22,776. These newly qualified health professionals are from Ayurveda, Dental, Homeo, Nursing, Medical, 
pharmacy, paramedical and allied sciences. The largest number of graduates are from nursing, 5,875, followed by medical stream, 2,818 graduates. The largest number of postgraduates are from medical stream, 960, and medical super speciality, 130. All the health professionals passing out of this university are rendering yeoman services in the state, in the country, and also around the globe. They collectively have given a great brand name to the Kerala University of Health Sciences. The COVID-19 pandemic that started in 2020 January is slowly dying out. We have started all our regular academic and non-academic activities in full swing. All examination schedules are, have been streamlined. Three major initiatives of the university will be commissioned this year. The building of School of Public Health in Tiruvannathapuram Medical College campus is nearing completion. Innovative courses in research and research projects in epidemiology, public health will be conducted there. The School of Family Health in Kodikod Medical College campus is also ready for inauguration. We have already started programs on various aspects concerning family health. With the support of Government of Kerala through KIFB, the Translational Research Centre will start functioning in the university campus soon. In today's convocation, we are honouring 12 brilliant undergraduate students from various colleges for securing first rank in each stream. And Dr. Jairam Panikar Endowment Award will also be given today for the MBBS student who has scored highest mass in microbiology. Congratulations, my dear students. Now, let me come to the pleasant duty of welcoming all who are here. We are extremely happy and proud to have our own Chancellor here to bless us, bless the new graduates and address today His Excellency, Honorable Chancellor, Sri Arif Mohammad Ghanji, the Governor of Kerala, is an eminent scholar, thinker and an orator. In each and every problem faced by the university, he has always been with us to guide and show the right path. Thank you, sir, for your great support and guidance. I welcome the Chancellor to the 16th Convocation of Kerala University of Health Sciences. I welcome all my colleagues in the dais and off the dais. Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. C.P. Vijayan, Registrar Dr. Manoj Kumar, Controller of Examination, Dr. Anil Kumar, Dean Research, Dr. Shaji K, Dean Student Affairs, Dr. Iqbal, the Dean Academics, Dr. Binoj, Finance Officer, uh, Sri Rajesh KP, and Chairman of our Ethics Committee, Justice Hariharan Nair. I also welcome the Deans of the Faculty of the University. They are the academic heads. Dr. Jain of uh, Ayurveda, Dean of Ayurveda, Dr. Devadatan, Dean of Dental Sciences, Dr. Krishnan, Dean of Homeopathy, Dr. Sujamol Skaria, Dean of Nursing, Dr. Harikumaran Nair, Dean of Medicine, and Dr. Rajasri, Dean of Pharmacy, and Dr. Shankar, Dean of Paramedical and Allied Sciences. Welcome, sir. I also welcome all the eminent members of the Senate, Governing Council, the Academic Council, Board of Studies. I welcome all the esteemed principals and faculty members who have come from various affiliated colleges. I extend a warm welcome to my beloved officers and the members of Kerala University of Health Sciences, staff members. The stars of the day are the new graduates. Welcome, my dear students the new health professionals. I also welcome the parents and other family members of the students and thank you. And I thank the parents for supporting my dear students. 
I welcome the press, media, and uh, once again, I welcome all. Thank you. Sarve Bhavandu Sukhina. Let all be happy, healthy, and comfortable. Jai Hind. Question open. I invite the Dean, Faculty of Ayurveda, Siddha, and Yunani to present the graduates. Graduates of Ayurveda, Siddha, and Yunani, please rise. Honorable Chancellor, sir, kindly confer the degrees of the graduates who have qualified for the master's degree in Ayurveda, Ayurveda Vajaspati, MD, and Ayurveda Thanundari, MS, Postgraduate Diploma in Ayurveda and Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery, BAMS, Bachelor of Siddha Medicine and Surgery, BSMS, Bachelor of Unani Medicine and Surgery, BUMS, Bachelor of Pharmacy Ayurveda, BPharm Ayurveda, and Bachelor of Science, Nursing Ayurveda, BSc Nursing Ayurveda, who are present and those who have been permitted to remain absent. Master's degree in Ayurveda, Ayurveda Vachaspati, MD, and Ayurveda Dhanvantri, MS, Postgraduate Diploma in Ayurveda, and Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery, BAMS, Bachelor of Siddha Medicine and Surgery, BSMS, Bachelor of Unani Medicine and Surgery, BUMS, Bachelor of Pharmacy Ayurveda, B. Farm Ayurveda, and Bachelor of Science, Nursing Ayurveda, B.Sc. Nursing Ayurveda, have been conferred on successful candidates who are present and those who have been permitted to remain absent. The Ayurveda, Siddha, and Yunani graduates shall sit down. I end up dental sciences to present the graduates of the faculty. Graduates of faculty of dental sciences, please rise. Honorable Chancellor, sir, kindly confer the degrees on the graduates who have qualified for the Master of Dental Surgery, MDS, and Bachelor of Dental Surgery, BDS, who are present, and those who have been permitted to remain absent. Degree of the Master of Dental Surgery, MDS, and Bachelor of Dental Surgery, BDS, have been conferred on successful candidates who are present and those who have been permitted to remain absent. The dental science graduates shall sit down. I invite the Dean, Faculty of Homeopathy, to present the graduates of the faculty. Graduates of Faculty of Homeopathy, please rise. Uh, graduates, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir, kindly confer the degrees on the graduates who have qualified for the master's degree in homeopathy MD home and Bachelor of Homeopathic Medicine and Surgery BHMS who are present and also those who have been permitted to remain absent. The master's degree in homeopathy MD homeo and degree in Bachelor of Homeopathic Medicine and Surgery, BHMS, have been conferred on successful candidates 
who are present and those who have been permitted to remain absent. The homeopathic graduates shall sit down. I invite the faculty of medicine to present the graduates of the faculty. Graduates of faculty of medicine, please rise. Honorable Chancellor, sir, kindly confer the degrees and diplomas of the graduates who have qualified for the postgraduate diplomas, Doctor of Medicine MD, Master of Surgery MS, Doctor of Medicine DM, Master of Surgery M MCH, and Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery MBBS, who are present and who are being permitted to remain absent. The postgraduate diplomas, Doctor of Medicine MD, Master of Surgery MS, Doctor of Medicine DM, and Master of Surgery MCH, and Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery MBBS have been conferred on successful candidates who are present and those who have been permitted to remain absent. The medicine graduates shall sit down. I invite the fa Dean, Faculty of Nursing, to present the graduates of the faculty. Graduates of Faculty of Nursing, please rise. Honorable Chancellor, Sir, kindly confer the degrees on the graduates who have qualified for Master of Science in Nursing, MSc Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSc Nursing, and post basic BSc Nursing who are present and also those who have been permitted to remain absent. The Master of Nursing, MSc Nursing, Bachelor of Science Nursing, BSc Nursing, and Post Basic BSc Nursing, PBBSc Nursing, have been conferred on successful candidates who are present and those who have been permitted to remain absent. The nursing graduates shall sit down. I invite the Dean, Faculty of Paramedical and Allied Health Sciences to present the graduates of the faculty. Morning. Uh, graduates of the Faculty of Paramedical and Allied Health Sciences, please rise. Honorable Chancellor, sir. Kindly confer the degrees on the graduates who have qualified for the Master of Philosophy in Clinical Psychology, Post MSc Diploma in Radiological Physics, Master's degrees in MLT, that is Medical Laboratory Technology, Master's degree in Audiology, Speech and Language Pathology, that is MASLP, Master's degree in Physiotherapy, MPT, MHA, that is Master of Hospital Administration, Medical Physiology, Masters in Public Health, and Bachelor's Degree in Physiotherapy, BPT, Bachelor's Degree in Optometry, BSc Optometry, ba uh, Bachelor's Degree in Medical Laboratory Technology, BSc MLT, and, uh, and uh, Medical Radiological Technology, that is BSc MRT, uh, BSc Perfusion Technology, BSc in Medical Microbiology, BASLP, that is Bachelor's Degree in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, and BSc in Cardiovascular Technology, that is BCVT, who are present and also those who have been permitted to remain absent. The Master of Philosophy in Clinical Psychology, Post-MSc Diploma in Radiological Physics, 
diploma RP in the master's degrees in medical laboratory technology, MSc, MLT, audiology, speech and language pathology, MASLP, physiotherapy, MPT, hospital administration, MHA, medical physiology, public health, MPH, and bachelor's degree in physiotherapy, optometry, medical laboratory technology, BSc, MLT, and medical radiological technology, BSc, MRT, perfusion technology, medical microbiology, audiology, and speech language pathology, BASLP, cardiovascular technology, have been conferred on successful candidates who are present and also those who have been permitted to remain absent. Thank you, sir. The paramedical and allied health science graduates shall now sit down. I invite the Dean, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, to present the graduates. Graduates of Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, please rise. Honorable Chancellor, sir, kindly confirm degrees on graduates who have qualified for Doctor of Pharmacy, PharmD, PharmD, PB, Master of Pharmacy, M Pharm, and Bachelor's degree of Pharmacy, B Pharm, who are present, and also those who have been permitted to remain absent. The doctor of pharmacy, Pharma D, Pharma D PB, Master of Pharmacy, M Pharma, and bachelor's degree in pharmacy, B Pharma, have been conferred on successful candidates who are present and those, and also those who have been permitted to remain absent. The pharmacy graduates shall sit down. Honorable Chancellor, sir, kindly sign the graduates register. Honorable Chancellor, Sir, please deliver the cash awards and rank certificates to the toppers of UG courses and winners of Dr. Jairam Manikar Endowment Award. Controller of Examination, Sir, please present the toppers of the UG courses and winners of Dr. Jairam Manikar Endowment Award. Jairam Panikar Endowment for the Topper in Microbiology in Second MBBS Regular Exam. Amrita Krishna J. Sri Narayana Institute of Medical Sciences, Ernagula. First rank holders, BAMS, Anjali Krishna, Pangajakasturi Ayurveda Medical College, Thiruvanandabura.
ബി എ എസ് എൽ പി ജഹന ഷെറിൻ ടി പി ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് കോഗ്നേറ്റീവ് ന്യൂറോ സയൻസസ് ഐ കോൺസ് ഷൊർണൂർ ബി ഡി എസ് ലിൻഡ മറിയ ജോസ് സെയിൻറ്റ് ഗ്രിഗോറിയസ് ഡെൻറൽ കോളേജ് എറണാകുളം ബി എച്ച് എം എസ് റീമ ജോസഫ് ആതുരാശ്രമം എൻ എസ് എസ് ഹോമിയോ മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് ബി പി ടി ആരതി മോഹൻ ബദനി നവജീവൻ കോളേജ് ഓഫ് ഫിസിയോതെറാപ്പി തിരുവനന്തപുരം ബി ഫാം മിലിൻ തോമസ് സാൻജോ കോളേജ് ഓഫ് ഫാർമസ്യൂട്ടിക്കൽ സ്റ്റഡീസ് കുഴൽമന്ദം പാലക്കാട് ബി ഫാം ആയുർവേദ നിതീഷ് കെ ബി എം വി ആർ ആയുർവേദ മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് പരശനിക്കട ബി എസ് സി എം എൽ ടി ജിനേ വി ചന്ദ്രൻ ഗവൺമെന്റ് മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് തിരുവനന്തപുരം ബി എസ് സി എം ആർ ടി ഫെബ ഫിലോ ജോളി മലബാർ ക്യാൻസർ സെന്റർ തലശ്ശേരി കണ്ണൂർ ബി എസ് സി നഴ്സിംഗ് അനു ജെ ഉപാസന കോളേജ് ഓഫ് നഴ്സിംഗ് കൊല്ലം ബി എസ് സി നഴ്സിംഗ് ആയുർവേദ വിധു കൃഷ്ണ കെ എം വി ആർ ആയുർവേദ മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് പരശനിക്കട എം ബി ബി എസ് റോസ് ക്രിസ്റ്റി ജോസി പി കെ ദാസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് മെഡിക്കൽ സയൻസസ് പാലക്കാട് Thank you, sir. All graduates, please rise for the convocation oath. Please. I shall, in thought, word and deed, be ever honest, in the discharge of our duties, of our duties. And, shall and shall uphold the dignity, the dignity. And, integrity and integrity of our profession, of our profession. 
and the honor and name of our university and our alma mater i pledge to uphold and advance social order and the well being of our fellow members and shall devote all our energy to promote the unity integrity and secular ideal of our country i swear to sincerely endeavor to serve all those who need our services to the best of our ability without any consideration of caste creed or status please be seated honorable chancellor sir please deliver the convocation address vice chancellor of kerala health university dr mohanan kunumal pro vice chancellor dr c p vijayan registrar dr a k banoj kumar controller of examinations dr anil kumar s dean faculty of para medical dr shankar s dean faculty of pharmaceutical sciences dr rashri rs dean faculty of homeopathy dr krishnan p dean faculty of medicine dr hari kumar nair gs dean faculty of dental science dr a devdatan dean faculty of ayurveda and siddha dr jn d dr suraj baliskaria dean faculty of nursing other academicians dear teachers parents graduates and the students a lover kum and de vandanam it's an honor to be back here at the kerala university of health sciences to give my best wishes to the young successful graduates and congratulate their proud parents and teachers to all the 13724 graduates of various branches and faculties who have qualified to receive their degrees today i am aware that many professionals are attending this conv convocation and they have been rendering selfless service in protecting our people against various health challenges my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to all of them I am happy that Kerala University of Health Sciences established in 2010 has been on the path of growth through the addition of institutions and academic courses with 327 affiliated institutions over 86000 students and 163 courses the university has been responding to society's demand for more health care professionals and better services by enhancing seats 
in various courses without compromising quality. Today's convocation is undoubtedly a proud moment for students, their families, teachers, and the entire institution. I am happy, very happy to share your joy and your well-deserved sense of achievement. Congratulations. After many, after many long years of endless study, sleepless nights, constant stress, now you are ready to kick back, relax, and enter into a life of your own. Witnessing what I see here, witnessing the caliber of talent and amazing dedication represented here today, I hope that in one of these chairs must be sitting someone, some future researcher, who will finally win humanity's long battle against cancer. There may be someone else who will help to make disastrous epidemics into easily curable diseases. But this hope that I have for the graduates of the graduates of 2023, this faith in your ability to overcome that which threatens to hold the march of human progress is nothing new. It is as old as the history of civilization and as powerful as the idea of India itself. In August 1947, when we became an independent sovereign nation, who would have dared to believe that in about seven decades, we would add 40 years to the average life span and witness a huge drop in the rate of infant moral mortality. Who would have dared to believe that with a simple vaccine we could eliminate a disease that left millions without the ability to walk, that we could transplant a heart or resuscitate one that is stopped, that we could unlock the greatest mysteries of life from the most basic building blocks of our existence. In a time where you are lucky to live past 50 and doomed, if you came down with the flu, who would have dared to believe these things? The people who suffered and made huge sacrifices to win independence from colonial rule, they did. They believed in it. They believed in the promise and potential of India and proclaimed with the voice of peace and benediction that India, that is Bharat Mata, has awakened once again, sitting on her throne, rejuvenated, more glorious than ever. It was to honor these known and unknown visionaries, the freedom fighters, that our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji declared 75th year of our independence as Azadi Ka Mahotsav and next 25 years 
as Amrit Kal, a period in which we shall dedicate ourselves with our full energy and whatever talent we have to build an India of the dreams of our freedom fighters. The doctors and nurses, researchers and scientists who came before you, who grew up believing that India and Indians can defy the odds and write our own history, they could be the ones to improve, extend and save human life. They are real healers. And as this new century unfolds, their success and your potential have led us to a moment of unparalleled promise in health and medicine. Just like a century ago, technology and treatments that were once barely imagined are now imminently possible. <coughs> Today, as we continue to find new ways to live together and better, the greatest single threat to the health of our nation is not a scarcity of genius or a failure of discovery, it is lack of collective will to ensure that every single Indian has access to effective and affordable health care. It is our national duty to find ways to ensure that no person suffering from any disease goes unattended due to constraint on physical resources. So now, just like generations before you, you must dare to believe, not only as tomorrow's physicians, but as tomorrow's parents, tomorrow's workers, tomorrow's business owners and citizens. You must choose Will the groundbreaking miracles you discover over the next generation reach only the luckiest few? Or will history look back at this moment as the time when we finally made, he made healthcare available at a cost that won't bring the world's largest democracy to its knees? There is not one person sitting here today who wants to turn a sick patient away because they can't pay. Not one person who wants to, who wants the cure they discover denied to those whose lives depend on it. Each of you has dedicated yourselves to this calling because you want to heal every sick person. Where there, is where there is a life in jeopardy, you want to save it. And so today when you leave, after receiving your degrees, it will not only be with great knowledge, but with great responsibility. Towards those patients, who are not in a position to afford costly medical treatment. Each of you has been blessed with extraordinary gifts and talents. And so if you want, you can leave here and focus on your medical career and your own success, not giving another thought <coughs> to the plight of the growing millions who can't afford the care that you will provide. After all, there is no statutory requirement or obligation to do community service in the real world. And no one can force you to do that. But I hope that you will do it. Because you have a debt to all those 
who have helped you to who have helped you get to where you are and you have an obligation to those who are less fortunate you need to take on these challenges that your country is facing because you have an obligation to your own self because our individual salvation depends on our collective salvation because it is only when you are able to find a purpose in life which you consider greater than yourself that you will realize your true potential looking out at this class of 2023 i think my hope is well placed with the field you have chosen you have already shown how much you care about the lives of others how strongly you have heard the calling to be healers in this world today i ask you to remember that call always i ask you to remember the oath which you have taken few minutes bef before in how it could include more than the patient sitting in your workplace it could also include the patients who can't afford to get there the ones who are not being provided the best care and the general health of all indians when you think about these challenges i also ask you to remember that in this country our history of overcoming the seemingly impossible always comes about because individuals who care really can make a difference india is great because indians have a great cultural heritage that obliges them not only to see the self in others and others in the self but also treat every human body as temple of god deho devalaya prokto jivo deva sada shiva for us every human is potentially divine a board of god and the spirit is shiva the lord himself and as you go forth from here in your own life you can keep this history alive if you only find the courage to try good luck with this journey and congratulations on all of your achievements today you are justifiably in an upbeat mood and i have been talking too seriously therefore i should conclude with a humorous anecdote which underlines the significance of the career the calling that you have chosen a mechanic in his workshop working on a on an aut automobile was removing a cylinder head from the car when he spotted a heart surgeon in his workshop the heart surgeon was waiting for the service manager to come and take a look at his car the mechanic saw the heart surgeon and shouted hey doctor can i ask you a question the famous surgeon a bit surprised walked over to the mechanic working on the auto the mechanic now mechanic when he went close then the mechanic asked see doctor look at this engine i also open it up take valves out fix them put in new parts and when this will work and then when i finish my work then this will work just like a new one so how how come i get so a small amount of money for the services which i render and you get really big money when you and i are doing essentially the same thing the surgeon paused smiled and leaned over 
and whispered in the ear of the mechanic, try the same when the engine is running. I hope you understand. <laughs> car you can fix when, car you can't fix when engine is running. But the heart surgeon has to fix things while the engine is running. So the two different things that highlights the importance of the calling which you have chosen for yourself. Thank you very much for giving this patient hearing. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Jai Hind. Honorable Chancellor, Sir, I request you to kindly declare the convocation dissolved. I declare the convocation dissolved. Now I request the Honorable Vice Chancellor to hand over a small gift to the Honorable Chancellor as a token of our love and respect. All are requested to stand up for the national anthem, please. 